In order to show what's possible with Cisco's connected real estate solution, we've assembled some demo panels here that uh, contain a collection of devices and automation controllers that you would find in a typical commercial building. So for example, uh, we have uh, heating and cooling systems that we simulate here with our simulated HVAC duct. I have some uh, lighting and electrical controls here. I have a fire and life safety system on the panel on the far end here. And in this area, I have some uh, physical access control devices. Now, as far as what you're going to find in each particular building, that's going to vary uh, because buildings are, are built over different times. They're spec'd out by different architects and planners and so on. Uh, so this is really just a representation of the typical devices that you might find. If we take a look at an employee going through a typical workday, we can get a good example of what's possible with our connected real estate solution. So if we consider how most of us start our workday, a lot of us start by taking an employee ID such as this and swiping it on a card reader like I have here on my panel. And generally what happens is the door opens, it allows the employee in, and that's pretty much all that ever happens. Well, you'll see that by having my card reader connected to the network, I can do a whole lot more. I can control a lot more aspects of my building uh, with a connected real estate solution. So I'll start my day by scanning my card on the card reader, and we'll see in here a number of things that happen as a result. So we see that the light has come on, and uh, now that the light has come on, I'll click it off real quick. Um, also, we see that my IP phones are booting up, and also the HVAC has come on because I'm actually the first one into the building. Uh, besides this, I also have a greeting uh, on a digital sign over here that's displaying the picture of an employee that's just scanned in uh, for the morning. And the reason that we do this is it actually adds additional uh, security to our safety and security system. Uh, if I can actually uh, put a picture up of the person who just uh, scanned their badge, that gives other employees confirmation that that's the proper person coming in there. It's not someone that picked up uh, an active badge in the parking lot that might have been dropped, for example. So it adds additional safety and security measures to my physical access control system. Now that I'm in the building and I'm working away in my cube, I can actually use an IP phone to make changes to my environment, like the uh, set point on the temperature or even the lighting controls. To show how I can control uh, the temperature, for example, I can actually select from the menus here on my phone and I'll actually change the temperature. You can see right now uh, we're set to air conditioning and we're on low. That's a little bit too cool for me, so I'm going to go ahead and raise the temperature in the room a little bit. And what we'll see is once I make that change, uh, you'll see the lights change here on my AC system. The same way that I control the temperature from my desktop IP phone, I can also use a wireless IP phone. So for example, if I'm a facilities manager within the building, I can actually be roaming about the building, going into different rooms, and if I need to adjust temperature or lighting, I can actually use my wireless IP phone since I have wireless coverage throughout my building. The same way that I control the heating and cooling system, I can also make some adjustments to lighting. So for example, right now, if we consider the light here, this may represent the overhead lighting on a particular floor or some part of my building, maybe even a single office or conference room. So I can again go to my IP phone, and from my IP phone I bring up a menu, and let's say I want to set the lighting to an explicit level. So I'll go ahead and set it to high, and now I see that my lights are set to high. What I can do now for some energy efficiency, I'll go ahead and adjust the lighting to automatic now, and once I set it to automatic, you'll see that I can make it respond based on the actual lighting conditions within the room. So right next to my uh, light here, I have a daylight sensor. So if I'm in a room that can uh, receive a lot of natural daylight or sunlight from the outside, the light will respond accordingly based on this daylight sensor. To, to show an example of that, I have a flashlight here. And if I shine my flashlight on the daylight sensor, within a few seconds, it'll pick up that reading and it'll make an adjustment to my lighting based on the actual lighting within the room. Now that we've seen how we can adjust lighting and electrical, let's take a look at how we can extend a traditional fire and life safety system beyond what we normally used to from a system like this. So here I've got a fire pull station. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and pull zone one, and we'll see what we can do with our connected real estate solution uh, beyond the traditional things. So we see here we're strobing and alerting as we're expecting from a fire and life safety system. But notice right here next to me, the HVAC system cut off completely automatically. 
We're also notifying safety and security as well as our facilities manager in the building uh, via two-way radio that a fire incident uh, has been indicated within the building. We also are putting up a custom evacuation map on the uh, digital sign. Uh, with a digital media player connected to the IP network, we can change what's on that display at any time. Uh, now we see that the phone is ringing. This could represent the IP phones uh, within the organization. I could also be calling out to mobile phones with the same type of message. Press 1 now. Hello, user 3. The following notification has been sent to you by Ad Hoc Incorporated. Here is your message. Evacuate. Fire in Zone 1. You have selected. I'm evacuating. Your response has been accepted. Thank you. As you can see, there's a number of things we can do in addition to uh, the traditional strobing lights and alarms with a fire and life safety system once we connect up to our connected real estate solution. In addition to the alerts that we can receive from our fire and life safety system, we can also be automatically notified when other important events happen within a facility. So for example, if there's a power outage in a building, I can actually simulate that by throwing the main breaker here. Warning. Power outage detected in the Wilson building. If I'm in a facility that has a large data center or if I have critical life support systems like a hospital or something, when there's a power outage, I certainly want to be notified as soon as possible. And perhaps I want to notify a lot of folks outside of the building as well. So this gives us an example of how we can do this in response to an event such as a power outage. And now that I'm at the end of my workday, I'm going to go ahead and uh, swipe my badge once again, leaving the building. And the reason I'm going to do this is because there's actually some additional policy enforcement I can do now that I'm leaving in the same way I customized the environment when I came in in the morning. So for example, you'll see as I swipe my badge, we're able to turn off lights automatically. We're able to turn off the IP phones. And also the HVAC goes off because I'm the last one out for the day. The way that we're controlling devices like uh, the lighting and the uh, IP phones and other power over ethernet capable devices, we're taking advantage of a feature in Cisco's Catalyst LAN which is called EnergyWise. This gives me the capability to control individual ports, groups of ports, or even an entire network full of switch ports so that I can control those power over ethernet devices based on a set time policy or based on an event such as uh, an individual swiping a badge. EnergyWise is a very powerful capability um, that allows me to control those ports directly. In addition, I can control non-power over Ethernet devices like PCs and monitors um, using the EnergyWise orchestrator server as well. Looking at these examples, we can see how it's possible to achieve energy savings, operational efficiencies, and improve safety and security in our facility using a Cisco connected real estate solution.